guys. Cruel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. And we're back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, quickly, last time, what happened? I found my book. That's what happened. You did find oh, your book? Where, where was, was it? it? It was in my cubby. Okay, wait. No. <laughs> so... <laughs> So remember how I explained what it looked yeah. like, right? Like, yeah. it's like that line ahead. It, it looks, looks like a, exactly right? like you said. Yeah, it looks like a bird. That's it's a, a hummingbird. Yeah, kind of, right? Yeah. It's always in there like this. <coughs> well, you know what the problem was? Uh, is that it was in there like this. I had this. With a separate thing? And I didn't even, I was like, oh, well, that's not it. <laughs> I had the exact same happened to me with my Teen Titans book. I, was like, I couldn't Fuck. find it anywhere because it was upside down. There's no label. Well, so mine, I was looking for that. But this way, it has that. I'm like, why is this here? Someone put a label on here and it fucked me, and that's what fucked me. Oh. It wouldn't have been for the label. So this isn't a dual book where no. like, you started on... There's nothing in this. <laughs> so I have it now. Oh. But so I don't put a label on this, and it fucked me, but you took the label off. <laughs> yeah, but it was because it was the there. label was still there, it wouldn't have fucked you. No. It would have been labeled. It would have said, you know... I don't know what would have said. Brooklyn Nine. The, the Walking. No, no, this wouldn't have been a Brooklyn. Know, it's been it would have funny. been like The Walking Dead. I'm like, oh well, I'm, just, I'm, I'm sure. not that book. I put it away. Yeah. But I accidentally grabbed. Like, oh, what's it? I was like, what's this one? I opened him like, what is That's this funny. one? There's nothing in this one. I'm we like, have a great oh, war on it. Fuck! If you should label your book or not, and I know it's Aaron's if it's just not labeled. But I don't know what show it's from. <laughs> so I tend to not touch it. It's always right inside. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Right there. All right. Last time uh, on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, uh, what did we have? Uh, there was a dentist who killed somebody. It That's, was uh, Holt and yeah. Jake interrogating oh, this guy. Yeah, that box. was so good. I love that. It was, it was really good. One of my favorite episodes of the whole Philip show. Philip Davidson. Interrogation yes. with Randall. I need to take notes. You do. Etymology is apparently... A trigger for me. <laughs> that was really good. I love that too. I love how they got him too. It was like he was so confident that he did it so well. Yep. But he wa- didn't want it to be like prideful. Yeah. No. Pride before the fall. Button before the highlight. Santiago, your test result from the sergeant's exam has arrived. Ooh. Ooh. Everybody make oh. room. Amy needs adequate space to do her signature dork dance. I don't know if there's going to be a dork dance. Oh, look how small that envelope is. That's not a big good news envelope. That's a little bad news envelope. <coughs> That's nuts. Sarge, tell her envelope size doesn't matter. If I'm being honest, I got a much bigger envelope. Oh, God. Unhelpful, Terry. Very unhelpful. Mine was bigger, too. Okay, I just won't ever open it. That way I'll never get rejected. Fine. I'll open it. <laughs> no! no. Oh, oh, God. God. Harder. I open it. You passed. <gasps> oh, my God. You're gonna be a sergeant. Yay. You're gonna be a sergeant. Yes. Sweet. Oh, no, it's happening. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's my future wife. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh. I present to you a serial arson case, hmm. and the fires seem to be connected to the Saturday crossword puzzle. What? Two different buildings, two consecutive Saturdays, and a puzzle left at each crime scene, and a note was sent to the puzzle's author, Mr. Melvin Sturmley. Melvin Sturmley? He's the best in the game! He made a puzzle once where all the answers were just the word puzzle in different languages. In Estonian, it was moistatus. Yeah, well, your moistatus is about to be hecka moist. Don't call HR, we are getting married, because Melvin Sturmley <laughs> is coming in to help us with the case. Showing! <laughs> She's so happy. Being that I am your campaign manager, you are not. I did a little sleuthing on your rivals. You want me to spill the beans? Why would you ever intentionally spill beans? They're one of nature's most densely packed protein sources, and they remain unsullied by flavor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. Tell me everything. All right, have a seat. It's time. Say hello to your competition, Brian McCann, John Kelly. And John Kelly. Yes, that's right. There are two John Kellys. How are these not the same? (laughs) (laughs) What? Oh my gosh. (laughs) Holy crap. It has a heads up display with built in license plate reader. Who cares? It's got two burrito holders. Those are cup holders, Scully. Oh, yeah? Then what am I supposed to use my thighs for, genius? Wait. That's a good point. I'd much rather put the drink in the thighs than the burrito. I get this. Seriously? Suck. Whoa! The heater in my detective car hasn't worked in two years. I don't have enough body fat to keep warm. Terry's sick of shivers. <laughs> <laughs> I never felt so abandoned. And I was actually abandoned. They called me a swamp. <laughs> oh, maybe we should look at anagrams of the answers. That's really good, old nasty amigo. How? <laughs> oh. 
What? He rearranged the letters of Amy Santiago. He anagrammed me. Ben, do Jake Peralta. All right, Dad, that's even possible. Eat a jerk, pal. <laughs> and I'm just glad that Amy's spending some time with her hero. Who's super hot? Charles, let it go. And smart. I'm serious, stop. <laughs> and hilarious. <laughs> Eat a jerk, pal. <laughs> I love that. No, the, it's like head hunt with steaks. It is. If you're looking for a puzzle head, I'm hosting a crossword night at the Turnkey Bar tonight. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. That place is a total puzz hang. Ah, gross. All right. So we'll it's like a whole puzzle together. culture. I didn't know there's a puzzle culture. Did you know about this? Yeah. Oh, and you like Turnkey. Great. So <laughs> the best. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks so pained. What these dinosaurs are talking about where to find Matlock reruns. <laughs> Be professional, Gina. Like the home care nurses who will tuck them into bed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond Holt, I'm Captain Olivia Crawford. I'm the new candidate for commissioner. Oh. Can you hear me? Yeah, I replaced the other candidate. He retired to spend more time with his grandchildren. I plan on eliminating precincts altogether. What? No precincts? That's not how we do things. That's exactly what both John Kellys said. <laughs> oh no. She's the asteroid. And I don't want to say you're a dinosaur, but. Uh, uh, uh. You're a dinosaur. Yeah. Mm. Honest, I'm a little disappointed no one's wearing a green suit covered in question marks. That guy has crossword puzzle pants. Does that scratch your itch? Very much so. Thanks. <laughs> Those are great. Show me them. You want to see crossword puzzle pants? I'd wear them. So you like his puzzles? In his face, body, and brain. And body. Honestly, that makes all other men seem really stupid and ugly. Okay. Well, thank you for your very candid and hurtful input. Let's <laughs> solve one of Vin's puzzles tonight. I love this place. <laughs> to reveal a place in the world. Meet a brainier stud, eh? Oh, come on. United Arab Emirates. You may enter. Uh, you must each answer a puzzle. Oh. We're gonna be here oh, a while. Oh, no. Let's the letters in this phrase to reveal the name of a film based on a classic novel. Okay. Sad anus loser, I go in. You know, I think like these puzzles are actually very pointed. Okay, I got this. Uh, uh, He's got to sneak in. I want to figure out what that was, though. Me yeah. too. Yeah. Sad should... anus loser, I go in. I'm sick of riding my best but to work every day. Well, being on the seat behind you is no picnic either. All right. Here goes. <laughs> is that even possible? <laughs> For those two? Yeah. Oh, dear, you gotta go. No way. You cheated. What? I didn't cheat. I bet every slip in there says Terry. He filled it full of fake people. Who the hell is Norm? Scully's first name. It is? <laughs> Stop being so <laughs> <laughs> the hardest clue he had in his last one was a five letter word for a game popular at nursing homes. Bingo. <laughs> you didn't design today's puzzle using only one of each of those letters. Isn't that the craziest thing we've ever seen? I don't know. I mean, remember that time we investigated the disappearance of Mrs. Jackson and it turned out her parrot ate her bones and all? That was pretty crazy. That was Jesus. crazy. Her <laughs> parrot ate the bones? You're snacking? This is from the guy who told me that eating finger foods was the one and true sign of depression. Then watch me too, Gina. I'm a creature of the past. I'm a dinosaur. No, you are not. You're the best man of the dog. Why not? Boom. What? I'm all serious. Like, books on the butt. The butt don't lie. He squeezed his cheeks before he opened the slip. He knew his name was on it. It was a preemptive celebration. <laughs> I don't know. I need better proof than a blood clench to take down. Today. I did it, okay? I cheated. I wanted that car and I took it. And it's killing me. I couldn't sleep all night. I just kept hearing the blinker. You cheat. You cheat. You cheat. Clear the keys. Take the damn car. Terry doesn't deserve it. And that is why I became a cop. What? That is why? I have eyes on Sam. Yes. Suck it, Ben. My judgment is clear and I am a genius. Charles, I'll be right there. No, no, no Jake. Let him follow. I was just told by a member of the selection committee that they have no intention of ever choosing a woman to run the NYPD. I suppose I should have been relieved because Captain Crawford is a damn qualified candidate. But as someone who has been denied opportunity because of who I am, I cannot stand by and watch it happen to someone else. <coughs> so I will be reserving my presentation for a selection committee that will judge all of the candidates fair. And let's be honest, crab cakes were only so-so. 
Man. <laughs> wow. He stands so tall. <laughs> he's eating it with a spoon. It's soup. He's eating soup. No, oh, maybe he's fueling up for a night of starting fires. He just pulled out Why a lighter. Why couldn't just he no, watch it? It's not a lighter. It's a bumblebee pest dispenser. He's eating a pest. <laughs> All my fish were dead. Okay, so Sam didn't do it. I should probably Damn it, get back to MAR or wherever it was. Just because I was wrong about Sam does not mean that Ben... It's going to be on fire when he gets there. Well, this is disappointing. Damn it, Jake. Why couldn't he just let... Boyle could have just watched him. This was our last case together. And you and him have been joined at the hip. Or in his case, that super sexy B muscle that I don't understand out of town. He told me it's a lot of bicycle crunches. Crunches on a bicycle? That's crazy. You would just fall right off. Babe. You have no reason to be jealous of him. I just, I don't want you to wake up one day and wish that you were with someone as smart as you are. I am with someone as smart as I am. You, you're a brilliant detective. I love the way you think. That's why I want to marry you. Marry me. Mary. Oh my God, look. The it's a girl. M-A-R, but they were going to spell M-A-R-R-Y. Oh, well, the, uh... One who's gonna marry him? Yes. The lady from the bar. Hey, puzzle chick, unscramble this. You're going to age. <laughs> All right, so it's five years. What? Why? You froze your slip of paper so that when you pull the name, all you had to do was find the cold one. So, uh, you thought the way I cheated was so cool, you gave me the car? Yeah, but also while I was watching those tapes, I noticed all the nice crap you do for. You got Gina a cushion for her chair. You let Charles show you 130 pictures of Nicolaj brushing his teeth. You kindly scully twice on the same peanut. You let Hitchcock borrow a pair of your socks because he has somehow disintegrated. I washed their car and told them it was a new one. They're napping in it right now. <laughs> I washed their car and told them it was a new one. Wait, I thought they had a Vespa. What do I owe the pleasure? Captain Crawford is here to see you. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> Enemies. Do you know what that means? Are you trying to imply that I'm too old to understand a portmanteau? I am not. But I am too dignified to use one. Friend, enemy. I just wanted to thank you for your brave speech. The mayor's office has replaced the selection committee with a less biased one, so feel free to start calling me commissioner now. The only time I plan on calling you is to hear you concede. It's going to be hard to hear anything once I've crushed you into a fine powder. A fine powder that will choke you until you die. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Crawford left. <laughs> so Turned out she was writing something, specifically, marry me, or else I will kill you, yours forever, Helen Gorbelson. Wow, that's a lot. She had a lot to go. So many fires. Thank you for catching her. With a brilliant, puzzling mind like yours on the case, it was only a matter of time. Actually, Jake solved it. He's kind of a genius with this stuff. Oh, thank you then. Couldn't have done it without your help. So I guess that's that. I should probably run if I'm going to make it to the Javits Center by four. They're making a mold of me for the upcoming bodies exhibit. As they should. Your body is great, and that's okay. Thanks, man. You should join me for a puzzle night sometime. Uh, no! Jake is taken. He already has a friend. Hang on, Alberta. Jealousy. He's fine. Now let's strut your centerfold ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> centerfold ass. He was getting, he was getting jealous. I'm huh? jealous. That's, it's fun to have an idea of like someone is doing <clears throat> this crime and it's based on crossword puzzles. No, it's very Riddler. It's so Riddler. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. And I love like their puzzle bar. <laughs> like you should like. I always remember like the there was a joke in How I Met Your Mother. It's like ah, we'll get a bar, and like, what we call it? We call it puzzles. Well, why is it called puzzles? That's the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> but the idea of having a puzzle bar called puzzles like yeah. it work. Like, how do you get in? You gotta solve this puzzle. Yeah, I like it. It's a fun idea. And you get inside, and then it's puzzles you solve, or pinball. Yeah, like <laughs> uh, the menu is like indecipherable. You have to solve the <laughs> yeah, menu to know what to order. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> You have to unscramble things or something. Yeah, you can go and like refill your drink, but there's a sliding puzzle. Oh my gosh. You have to <laughs> slide the puzzle to get what you want? Yeah. If not, you just get lemonade instead oh. of your beer. Well, water. Water? Yeah. 
Because then, like, especially if you're drinking, That's then it's true. like, oh, you're too drunk to solve this puzzle? You get good. water. <laughs> <laughs> we should keep all these great ideas. Yeah, write these down. Like, the more you drink, the worse you're at. I guess it's like a like, self moderate Exactly. Thing. Exactly, right? yeah. So, you're like, never over served. As you get more drunk, and you gotta solve this puzzle to get more drinks, it's like, oh, well, I, I can't. Oh, it's like, you get, you get water. You gotta sober up. Yeah. And then once you can solve it again, then you get more lubricant. I feel like I'm just gonna have a terrible time. I'm not going to solve You never anything. get to drink. I won't be able to hear anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even figure out sad anus loser I go in. Oh, yeah. The whole episode, I was like, what is it? Sad anus anus loser. Loser. Comma. Comma. I go in. I go It's a movie in. based on a classic book. A-N-U-S? That's it. Right? Yeah. To make sure I have everything spelled right. A classic book. Why is there a comma? It must be a comma in the movie title, then, right? No. You don't think so? I mean, you you need it there so you don't think just sad anus loser. I go in. Eat shoots and leaves. It's like sad anus loser. I go in. But you're not going into the anus loser. Okay, so you're telling the sad anus loser that you're going in. You're not entering him. Well, I mean, you could. Be telling him that you're going in. That could be. Saturday night lunar. I go in. <laughs> uh, I can't think of anything. It's gonna drive me crazy the whole day. Do you think it really does equal something? I bet it does. Yeah. It, what's those? Uh, there's like uh, shoot. What's this called? It's an anagram solver. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You could type it. Although, and, I'm, and I'm sure this has been searched for before. Like yeah. If I had to do it in a line under pressure, probably not. All right, right. If you so, gave me enough time. Sad. I looked it up. Anus. I, would, I never get this. It's from 1988. 1988. Oh, that's a lot more recent than I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Is it a movie that you think we would have seen? No. You don't think we have, have we heard of it? I like, did you see like ah, oh, I've heard of this. I feel like I'm a good barometer between like, you. Great two. Gatsby, you know? Or, yeah. Like, it's not that. I would recognize that one. <laughs> and maybe you did. Maybe you know this one, but it's called <laughs> Dangerous Liaisons. Oh, oh, I never got it. I don't know. I've never heard of it. <laughs> That's what it is. I feel okay because I was the whole episode. I kept thinking about it, like, what could it be? What could it be? It is fun though. I want my own bingo moment. Bingo! <laughs> like the shot. The thing was His so toughest good. puzzle was five letter <laughs> word that means game in an old person's home. <laughs> bingo! Bingo! That was really bingo. funny. Amy has passed the sergeant exam. Yeah. yeah. And this is their last case. Is what they're yeah. saying as detectives. Mm-hmm. But we have a sergeant. Does that mean that she goes to a different precinct? Or Terry does. True. Yeah. Do they have two sergeants in a precinct? I don't think so. I think you have a... I mean, different shifts, you would. Sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't think you would on the same shift. Yeah, I wonder what that would mean. Like, she's not also going to be sergeant and stay in the group, is what I would think. I and know. also, Terry has just become sergeant, so I doubt if Holt got his job... Like, I doubt Terry would fill in Holt's position. Okay. You know? No, that makes sense. Hmm. I figure you need to be sergeant for longer before you get captain. Maybe. I don't know. But the idea is that if he goes up to commissioner, <clears throat> Terry could theoretically go to captain and she could become sergeant and everybody stays in the same group. Maybe. It's just that he wouldn't necessarily be there in the 9 yeah. He would be a commissioner above all the precincts. Which I don't want, so... What happens? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Does that mean you want the girl to win over... Oh, I like her. Sure. I mean, much better uh, than Wunsch. Well, sure, yeah. I, I get you there. I mean, she uh, the, their smack talk is hilarious. So I, mean, I don't know I, about I, I not liked, having precincts. But. I liked how they did the same thing. It was like, someone with your experience. <laughs> and he's like, I pause. So he knows it's not a compliment. <laughs> and then when she goes, like, someone with your tenure. tenure. She paused. I'm sure it was a sure it was mistake. Nice. An error. <laughs> you know? Like, I just love the... You know, there's no way to do it on purpose. Yeah. But, I don't know, I, I really appreciate Holt seeing, like, you know, here's the same stuff I had to go through, and I want an equality, like, I want an equal, Playing unbiased game. method of getting the commissioner versus, well, I'm just going to get it and beat her who has... Yeah, you know, he wants to win on merit. Yeah, who has, like, good... She has her own good reasonings for what she wants to do, but because she's a woman, she can't do it. Yeah. And, and like, if they do eliminate precincts, maybe you can have two sergeants in one place. Yeah. Huh. yeah, eliminating precincts. I wonder what her reasoning is and what they is do. Is it like abolish the police kind of thing, or is it, what is it? I think it's more of like 
I don't know. Maybe you like rotate people in different places or something. Mm-hmm. If you have no precinct, the idea could be that it's all it's it's more uniform under one more idea rather than like well they're kind of doing what they want to do they're kind of doing what they want to do. I don't know. If you have like a a dirty cop who has deals with these people, if he's not always here. You know, sure. sure, yeah. As opposed to like, well, this precinct's going to be a safe area, this area of the city. Yeah. Because we have people in this precinct. Versus like, well, it's a bigger rotation of all these people ever. And the only thing there is like, does it extend how long it takes for people to get you help. Know, help from, yeah. Like if you have a fire department and it's just one central fire department for the whole city versus like, well, here's this firehouse and here's this firehouse and there's that firehouse. Like that's the reason you have them spread out to be able to get to places faster, you know? Yeah. Especially in New York traffic. Whenever Holt says that he wants to have a social media officer in every precinct, is that for someone to you know handle like community outreach with through social media at the precinct, or is it like to? It could be accountability thing. Accountability and being able to be like, hey, I need someone to you know, I need someone to find this person on social media and discover mm-hmm. things, and we have an expert that does it versus like a detective that's doing it individually. Maybe, but there can also be. Like, you could have someone who's over top of all social media stuff for yeah. that precinct, and they do a couple of things. They have, it's a, it's a mi- mixture of outreach for community stuff, yeah. but then it can also be like a, like, I know, like, on Facebook locally, lots of times our local police department, they post, like, here's, you know, today what, was this yeah. arrest, what and this stuff, whatever, closed, happened, that you know, here's thing, these yeah. things. So, like, having someone in charge of that for every precinct, mm-hmm. you have a better, like, here's the public information of what happened, this person was arrested, Watch out for this fire criminal. here. Yeah, there's these things going on or whatever, and it's kind of like a way of staying yeah. updated. Hmm. Like, that might be good. I suppose they already have, a, like, a digital forensic group downstairs, right? That yeah. was taking all the internet. Yeah. With, uh, so that probably would handle that. So. Yeah. It probably is just like a... Because he had talked about before about wanting to be... Then we deal with that with, like, some posters and some different well, things? Well, he like was on the commission do. for outreach yeah. at a point. Like, yeah. Like, once moved him over there yeah and that was the there was like a chicken mascot yeah the mascot right and all that stuff I remember mm-hmm. that so yeah maybe he has some ideas with that to help with just reaching out with the community and being more visible mm. and stuff wasn't there a recently am I remembering right um, wasn't the newest like NYPD commissioner like a woman is that right I don't know in real life yeah I feel like in real life there was news of like it was the first like female, I don't know, something that maybe New York had. I don't know if it was like a police chief, commissioner kind of thing. It maybe it wasn't New York. Maybe it was also like, maybe it was like another city or something. Uh, Penny Harrington is known as the first female police chief of Portland, making her the first female to head a major police uh, department in the United States. New York City's police force will be led by a woman for the first time in its 176 year history. When did that? Uh, December t- 2021. Is it? Is it? A- uh, Keychant Sewell, 49, is a 23 year old veteran of Nassau Police Department in nearby Long Island, where she became chief of detectives in September 2020. Um, for Mr. Adams, the move fulfills a campaign pledge to name a female commissioner. So, in December of this past year, we have the first. It, was it NYPD? Yeah. So, it was the first female yes. NYPD. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was thinking that I remember something about that where it was like, whenever they mentioned him, like, didn't we just get a female NYPD, like, commissioner or maybe I'm thinking of a, of a mayor or thinking of something? I mean, we just got something. the first black female Supreme Court justice. Yeah. 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 I knew that was happening, yeah. but I was thinking there was something like that. And I was like, <laughs> oh, well, that's cool. So I don't know if, I don't know what's going to happen here because I want Holt, but I also don't want Holt to get it. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I sure. like Holt. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what they do with this now. And with a new unbiased. I love that he just called that guy out right there in the middle of the thing, too. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> Those three other candidates, like, they just got, like, <laughs> they all had the same exact expression on their face. How are these not the same man? The same haircuts. <laughs> there's, there's dressed two, the same. Look the John, same. There's two John Kellys. Two John Kellys. <laughs> their wives all look the same. It's really good. Like, the idea that they're all just these old dinosaurs, and yeah. they're, this like, mottos, usual. right? Yeah. It's like, stay the course, stay maintain the course. the course, don't change the course, you know? It's like, what is this? Just 
keep just a bunch of old white guys yeah. not changing anything. And it's like, who's Norm? Uh, no, that was good too. <laughs> he put a bunch of fake names in here. Love it. You know, I I never thought of. I, I like the way Terry cheated. The cold one. Sure, that's yeah. Awesome. That's good. I never would, ever would have thought of that. Much more convincing than Butt Clinch. Sure, and it's no, the butt clinch. I mean, he he was cheating, and they did. I mean, they're good officers when they need need to be. Yeah, I guess. the whole reason I became an officer. The whole reason. No, that's a clever idea, and it's 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 probably less likely you're gonna get caught than like palming the actual answer and like reaching down in and trying sure. to like, oh, here it or is, giving it you know? a di- different texture. Yeah, or something. Oh, like it was that. cold because like as long as once you have it in your hand, you're like, yeah, it's only gonna be cold you know? for a little bit, and then it gets warmer. It might get a little damp, maybe, but you just like, have sweaty hands. I like working on palming things so I can hide stuff from my kids. Like the guy from Ant-Man? Like money. Well, yeah, like money. Yeah. Like if I have to do stuff with, like, hey, you should go put this, like, under, in the, like, in their bed. Because, like, you're just like, I do, and this money comes out. <laughs> no, there's definitely been, like, times where, like, Mel's like, hey, you can go put this under a pillow. So I'm like, okay. And then like, I'll go up there and I'll palm it. So that yeah. if they're awake, they're like, hey guys, what's going on? All right, see you later. Hmm. But I will hide cards weeks ahead of time in places. And then like have her pick a card. And she picks the card. And I take it and I shuffle it. And I'm like, it's over there. Oh. I bought an extra <laughs> deck of cards. I bought, I, have two, I bought two decks at the same time. I'm buying two of these. Now I can do whatever I want with these ones. And mess with people. And then all I gotta do is just preload and do all that stuff, so. I have one that is half all the same. Mm. So you can, like, do whatever with it, and then you just fan it a certain way, and it looks like it's all the same. Oh, yeah. Like, you do it from, like, a corner, and then the other mm-hmm. corner doesn't. It's like those coloring books. You ever seen those coloring books? It's like, I'm gonna make it fill in. Look, it's colored. And you go, like, see? But when you watch, they always, like, this corner, the middle, mm. now there's nothing. It's empty, you know? But gotcha. it's based on where they flip it. Huh. It's really cool. Now I've ruined the magic for you. You're welcome. I'm not doctor. <laughs> not doctor. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine with us. What's going to happen with our precinct? Is it going to be abolished? Are we going to have a new sergeant, a new captain? I don't know, but people will find out in the next four episodes, which is ironically what you can see on patreon.com slash blindwave right now. 